M. Night's crop circle film has a lot of hidden themes of coincidence. The events in the film, what has given M. Night's previous film success with a payoff device that gives new meaning to a film a second or even third time, with a twist. At the beginning onslaught of an alien invasion that causes the family to barricade themselves up in a final standoff, a running theme of outer demons and inner demons culminating to a point where signs begs the question, are things fated or are our souls the intimate outcome of divine intervention? It can be seen in many ways, the story that soul action is a fight for survival against aliens that lets the characters exercise their inner demons. Or maybe the aliens are just all from hell. Or the film was just moments of coincidence, freak chain events or luck. The obvious one is the demon theory, which would explain a lot of sketchy parts in the plot. The police are here. I'm with them. I am a police officer. The alien's trouble with doors. You're too old to still be doing this. You take a glass of water and you finish it. Now, what's wrong with this one? It has dust in it. This one? A hair. This one? Morgan took a sip and it has his amoebas in it. The holy water significance of Bo's habit of leaving glasses of water around the house. You kill me all this way. His wife's last words. There's a monster outside my room. Can I have a glass of water? Bo's monster at her window can be seen as a messenger, telling her that she alone can somehow sense what will happen at the end of the film. So what you have to ask yourself is what kind of person are you? Are you in my dream too? Are you the kind who sees signs, sees miracles? Or do you believe that people just get lucky? Is it possible? There are no coincidences. Graham's loss in faith is an ultimate test in the film. Merrill's failure as an athlete, coincidentally like the kid's asthma and the water, plays a key role in the survival of the family. The family has been through a lot. Their inner lives are tested. Their inner demons had begun prior to the start of the film and seem to come to a resolution after the freak cycle of events. That restores some importance or belief in the family, after surviving the onslaught on both sides. Ray, who killed Graham's wife, even gets his conscience cleared when Graham visits his home after being forgiven in what feels like a confession. Thank you for coming, Father. You're welcome, Ray. I worked so long that night. I've never fallen asleep driving before, ever since. Don't. And then telling him he has one of the demons locked in his pantry. Maybe the one who symbolizes his wife's death. Did you see something, Ray? Don't open my pantry, Father. I found one of them in there and locked him in. Which would make sense since this demon, or alien, is the one who the family is confronted with at the end of the film. The viewer of Signs must ask themselves, are the events happening as the main characters perceive them? A major clue given to us by M. Night himself in the film is that all is not as it appears. Given to us when Graham asks at one point, Is this really happening? M. Night has dealt with the supernatural time and time again, like Split, <laughs> where a man with multiple personalities is able to get superhuman strength, size, skin, like Unbreakable, which is considered a modern retelling of Superman. In a comic, you know how you can tell who the arch villain's going to be? He's the exact opposite of the hero. And Sixth Sense, specifically about spirits, unable to pass onto heaven or hell. I want to tell you my secret now. M. Night also provided the story idea for The Devil which portrays the manifestation of Satan amongst a group trapped 
in an elevator. Get in there already. <laughs> Who are you? Today, I'm an old woman. Grab her the moment you get in. Are you ready for your turn, Anthony? You think this will make you good? You're not good. I know. You think you can make up for the choices you made? No. You think you can be forgiven? No. Channel 8. I, I, I killed a mother and her, and her son on Bethlehem Pike five years ago. Uh, it was a hit and run, and I was, ne I was never caught. 